Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kayla, the maker and creator behind Crochet by Kayla, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to have a spin the wheel on my iPad decide how I'm going to make a mermaid. So this spin the wheel will be picking every little detail. It will be picking the color for the hair, the color for the skin, the color for the tail, the color for the bow. It will also be picking if the waist of the um, mermaid tail has a ruffle or if it's just tapered, if I do a starfish in the hair or if I do a flower in the hair, and also would be picking the um, fin, what shape the fin is. It will be picking if it is ribbed or if it is a split petal tail. So make sure you keep watching this video to see how my mermaid ends up and I hope you like how the mermaid ends up. Okay, so for choosing the colors, I have a spin the wheel. And this is a spin the wheel for all the hair. And then I need to take off a few of the colors after we spin the wheel for the hair because we are not gonna want a dark brown tail, I don't think, like stuff like that, that would be a choice for the hair, along with red. I'm not sure if red's gonna, like the bright reds can be a very good tail color. So the hair colors, like the designated hair colors I have will be taken off the list. So it is time to do the first spin. Let's figure out how I actually do this. For hair, we have mint. That is this one. I am hoping that is not one of the colors I already have made for mermaid hair. I don't think it is, so we are good there also. So now I'm going to take off the mint so we don't get a mint tail and hair and then the other colors are the hair colors and we will do the skin color okay it is now time to pick the skin it's either going to be shell or toffee shell it is Okay, it is now time to pick the tail, and then after that, we will do the hair piece. I usually do the hair piece the same color as the tail, but I think for this, we're gonna let the generator pick which one. So right now we have this for the tail, this, no, for the hair, this for the color of the mermaid's skin, and let's see what we get here for our tail. Lagoon. Okay, I like that. That would be this color. I like that pairing. I think that'd be cool. I like that. Now we are going to do the hair piece next. For the hair piece, I'm still keeping Lagoon on here because I think it'd be good if the hair piece in the tail ended up matching, but we don't know here. So let's see. We did get Lagoon. <laughs> All right, that's perfect, I like that. So now next what we're gonna do is we are going to let this pick if it's gonna have a ruffle around the waist on the tail if it is gonna have a starfish or a um, flower, and if the tail is gonna be the rib tail or the, um, I, forget, I forget what it's called right now, the um, petal tail. So I'm going to go ahead and make those wheels and be right back. All right, now we are gonna see if we have a ruffle waist at the tail or just the like tapered tail. Okay. 
Okay, we are getting the tapered tail. Now we are seeing if we're getting a flower or a starfish hair piece. And we are getting a starfish. Now it is the last decision the wheel has to make and that is whether we are going to have the ribbed tail or the petal tail. So let's see what we have here. And then they'll put all the colors together. Looks like it's petal tail. Okay, so now for our final decision, we have this as the hair this has the skin, this has the tail, and the hair piece color. The hair piece will be a starfish, the tail waist will be tapered, and the um, fin of the tail will be a petal fin. All right, it is now time to get started, and I will update you guys as soon as I have gotten somewhere on the beginning of the tail. Okay, it is now much later in the day and I have the tail completed in the first color. So now it is time to start the body and then I'll update you once the body is fully completed or almost completed. But this is adorable. I love this one. But I do already have a mermaid made for my next market with this tail. So I wish a little bit that I got a different color, but this is still gonna be so cute. I love the idea of doing the two different flavors. I've always wanted to do that with one of the do the same color, but in two different shades. So yeah. Okay, everyone, it is later and I've finished the head and I'm on, I'm in the middle of curl number two. This is looking so cute. I can't wait to finish it. Um, per usual, I am doing my video so late. It is the day before this video is posted at like 11 something at night. So it's way too late to be finishing this video. But, doing it anyway. Uh, so yeah, I am going to finish this up. I might have to finish up this video in the morning. So, we'll see. But I'm going to finish up this mermaid. Okay, it is officially the next day. And it is time for me to show you the completed mermaid that I made by having a spin the wheel decide how I did the colors, what accessories it had, just all the tiny details the wheel picked. It is so cute. I'm in love with it. So we got the shell for the skin color. We've got mint for the hair. We've got lagoon and we've got the tapered fin up top at the waist. And then we got the petal tail and we have the starfish. This is so adorable. I am obsessed with it because I've been wanting to try and do a mermaid with the two colors, like the same color, but two different shades. And I think this looks really good. I'm definitely going to be doing this more with some other colors, maybe. I think it could look really cool. But this mermaid is adorable. I love making these so much so i hope she sells whenever i do my next craft fair right now i don't have it planned when my next craft fair is i'm kind of just stocking up so whenever i do have one 
I am just good to go and I only have to make like seasonal products. So I don't know if my next one's gonna be like October or November. I don't know, I'll try to figure it out, but I'm stocking up. So all I have to do once I decide is which one I'm doing. I just have to decide what seasonal products I have to do or maybe if I do two, maybe I want Halloween products for one, all for the other. I don't know, so we will see. But this is just adorable. I am obsessed with it. If you would like to see more videos like this, I could do those. I could do it with any other project you guys want to see. I could do like a dinosaur. I could do a spin the wheel picks my full project. So I'll have a bunch of different projects on there. I could, I'll put like mermaid on there. I could put a turtle on there. Anything like that. Like I could put multiple projects that picks the project and the yarn. So I could pick like normal yarn or the thicker um parfait chunky yarn you know all sorts of different things i'd love to see a bunch of other crochet creators also try this and tag me if you do this challenge i'd love to see you all do it and make sure you subscribe and like this video and comment if you'd like to see more videos like this or any videos ideas you have for the future I love doing what people want to see for videos because it does get a little hard deciding what's gonna be a good video and what's not gonna be a good video that everyone enjoys. So make sure to comment, subscribe, like this video, and also make sure in my link in the bio, I have my link tree and you can check out every other social media I have, Instagram, TikTok, um, Pinterest, everything. So make sure you go check that out down below. Bye!